hit, I hit the record button last time we gathered. The party had a a small, but not too small of a talk with Garland as he expressed to them how much being in battle gives him joy, how he once was an adventurer and once calamity struck him, he went on a war path and decided to become the strongest thing in existence or as best as he could before he himself fell in battle and he questioned the party on their motives and asked them if they truly knew why they were here and they all engaged in battle the party emerged victorious garland imparted some wisdom amongst the group and it was at this time that it was discovered that Drava is his granddaughter from centuries and centuries apart. But as he said, I know my kin when I see them. The scene is still in the last location of this very hot but very strange arena. The party entered through from a portal and if there are any interactions that want to be had, you can have them now. I will keep in mind that Drava is still currently unconscious. I, don't, I was going to say, even if she wasn't unconscious, I don't think I want to speak to her at this time. She'll probably just start dying. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, None that I know of, at least. Okay. Well, looks like y'all are gonna be leaving this place, huh? Yeah. Is there any treasure in this room? No. Yes. Oh, okay. Steals this sword. <laughs> I imagine. Nah. Some, I imagine nah, I like someone is it. carrying her body. Oh, I'll, I'll like okay. She, I'll like she's KO'd unconscious. Okay, I, I carried her. <laughs> Let's go. Can you move her real quick? <laughs> we could put her in Isis treasure box. No. <laughs> what you got in there? A body. A smoothie. <laughs> A smoothie. Okay, so a lot of you exit the portal and. Things don't feel normal. As they don't they don't feel the same way that they did when y'all first entered this place. You feel a sense of unease and slight discomfort. you feel like at any given moment something could go horribly horribly wrong so as you maneuver through this place tread very very lightly hmm. <clears throat> I'd like to ask insight to see if I mean or perception sure just in case I get bodied. Where's perception? There we go. Quap. Hot diggity. Uh, so you scan the area in front of you, and you scan to the left. You don't see anything out of the ordinary until your eyes land upon what looks like a, a pressable button in the wall. Oh. Roll 20 just died. What the hell? A wall? Yeah, you see what looks like a button that can be pressed on the wall. Can I click it? Go ahead. Um, okay, I clicked it. Or pressed the button at least. You pressed the button and nothing happened, but you can hear what sounds like 
little baby splashes in the water. Oh dear. <laughs> Yashua oh. whispers, we're not alone. It could have been rocks. Optimism. Shout out another perception, see what's happening, where we just go towards... Well, you you know we're near any bodies of water to look at. When oh. This is horrifying. Alright, let's backtrack so we could get to the exit over there. Slowly. Ever so slowly. I need a hmm, a wisdom roll from Yashua. Copy that. Wisdom. Oh. You can place that icon. There you go. Hmm. You get the feeling that <clears throat> something could be nearby, but you are unsure of whether you if you should continue in that direction. Uh, our stats are currently the same after we fought, right? Yes. Like, we're not back to full, we're just still where we left off. Yes. Alright. Is it okay if I take a peek around the wall? Sure. I don't know if I see anything, Riku. Mm. You see illegible writings and scratchings on the wall. Pulls out the smartphone, takes a photograph of the writing. Gonna look around this wall. Okay, give me a perception roll. Hi. Uh, you managed to spot very thin threads spanning from wall to wall. I'm gonna flick a bullet on at the thread, see if it either cuts it or triggers something. Uh, you flick a bullet, and the bullet is immediately shred to pieces. Joy. You also hear a click go off somewhere. Is it possible to cut these wires? I would advise against that. Hmm. Well, that's no go. <laughs> Let's take a different route. Hmm. Unless our good tank Ice wants to run through it and just see if he could tank it. You act as if it is not an instant kill trap. The possibility of it not being an insta kill trap. Knowing Riku, he probably wouldn't put an insta kill trap. No, no, I don't imagine he would. A simple pitfall with spikes at the bottom of it could kill me. What if you cast something before you fall in? Yeah, that turtle shell. Actually, no, never mind. Let's go around. <laughs> <laughs> that portal is still here though I can probably get out from there if I remember this portal will take us back here or no maybe back here I don't remember 
But since it's but since we'll be entering from the opposite direction, would it function differently? Gotta find out. Oh, almost did something. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna toss another bullet through it. Uh, you can hear it come out one side. I'm gonna go through. And you come out through. Yeah. You come out over, over yonder, right here. I can keep exploring. <laughs> Gonna look behind this wall. Gonna look in through this area. Take a quick peek, see if there's traps. That is if I could see traps. Do I roll for anything? That would be perception. Yes, sir. -y. I don't see shit too dark uh you sure do find absolutely nothing i'm gonna buy a flashlight one of these days a what now a flashlight right. i could see Got in the it. dark uh-huh <laughs> what did you think i said <laughs> flashlight Oh, of course you would. Anywho, anybody want to take a peek over here since I can't see shit? Yes, I want to perception roll. <laughs> Yum. You find a you find two buttons. You find a blue button on the wall, and you find a red button on the floor. I click the red button. Oh. Did Probably a very bad idea. Or anything? You know, buy them. So what? Just saying, she didn't even check for writing. Instead of buy them or anything, this is pressed it right away. Oh. I press it. Hello, Akbar. She uh. She pressed the button, and we die. I'm so sorry. The the uh, the dungeon floor is now shaking, violently shaking. The walls are beginning to crumble. <laughs> My the bad. The ceiling is starting to collapse. Oh God! What did you do? I like the color red. And she clearly has triggered the escape sequence. Uh, oh my fucking god! Oh, this change. whole place is about to come down on us. We we gotta go like now. Um. <laughs> so yeah, run. <laughs> um, fuck it. Run. Book it. So where's this portal taking us? This portal is taking you over here. I am gonna fly into this one. <laughs> you gonna fly as in like flight mode fly or just run into it? Uh, fly as in like two few inches off the ground, fly into okay. the portal. You saw what portal I went into, right? We can... Yeah. <laughs> Yashima, there is We're an, safe. There is <laughs> an <laughs> invisible. No. Move back. We're not safe. Oh, oh, he's raising me up. Okay. I was talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, there is an invisible wall here. You cannot proceed in this direction. Eek. Damn it! Wait, there is one from here. Pathway from here. Uh, 
Yeah, that doesn't guys, take no. you anywhere. That's a dead end. Shit. Can I break the wall? You can try. What do I have to roll for it? Any of your attacks. I could always use more ammo. Actually, can I pierce it? Uh, you hit the wall, Mel, but it is not hard enough to break through it. Fuck. Also, Ice, you were on the opposing side of them. So if you go to where Yashua is, you'll be able to see yeah. them from the other side. I, I, I remember which portal I took the first one because I was the first one to choose one. <laughs> well, that didn't do what any of my would do. I aim for the wall next to the visible wall. <laughs> um, I used armor piercer on the wall. Did that do anything? Uh, it did something, but not enough to break through it. How about double slash? Wait, no. Double slash is not a good idea. What the fuck? Um... <laughs> Oh, how about prison beam? So it did something. So what if I use armor piercer directly at the same spot over and over and over again? Go for it. Uh, you are beginning to crack through that wall, and as you do that, um, the ground behind you is beginning to split. Oh no. Uh. Oh, time to punch the wall. <laughs> Actually, I can just stab the wall. And pull up, let's just steal flame tongue. And slap the wall. Okay. You know what? Good idea. I'm gonna punch the wall too. I want to muscle flex this one because simplicity of that stuff. <laughs> mm, the crack in the wall is beginning to get a little bigger. Not big enough for me. I'm buying a drill one of these days. I'm gonna slap it with. Just the old combination of I just it's gone the class flame strike on my on my blade. <laughs> Two seconds, because I did not put in my MP into a calculator yet. <laughs> you said there's a big crack behind us? Uh the the ground behind you is beginning to split and open up. How does that damage look like for that crack, Ricky? <laughs> uh I thought need to roll two D4s for I forget. It's nearly about to break. Can I fit my hand inside the crack? Yes, you can. I'm gonna put it in and forcefully try to pull it out. <laughs> the wall itself. <laughs> Strength check. Uh, uh, roll a D200. You need to I'm get over to... 110. I'm about to fail. Nope. Nope. <laughs> this motherfucker just removes the whole wall. No, he doesn't. He reaches his hand through, and he grabs the wall, and he he pulls out a big enough chunk for the three of you to step through. However, where that hole is, there is... Uh, purple flame coming from it, so you will take damage for going through the wall. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it, just go through. I have a he visible died. rock. <laughs> he died! <Fuck> <laughs> How much damage did we take? 50 HP. 50? Understandable. Have a, have a nice day. <laughs> and as you get close to the portal, you are stopped again. Motherfucker! Wall. God damn it. No, this it's not it's not a wall this time. There is a uh, those threads that you saw earlier, they are completely covering the the exit to this place and you need to figure out a way to get through them.
How much is the thread covering, by the way, Riku? How much is it covering? Yes. Like, length, width, and height? Yes. All three. Uh, it's about, about eight feet tall, so it's taller than all of you. Oh. But is it tall enough for me not to fly over? No. Okay. Can I, hold on, can I double dash in the sky? Can I double dash upwards? You mean, take flight and dash into yeah. the air? Like, if I use double slash and just go 15 feet above the ground and then do a, like... Oh, you want to use double slash to go into the air. Yes. Can I do that? Yeah. So I can just go over the wall. I want to use double slash. Actually, uh, uh, you you happen to look up, and you see a boulder, <clears throat> a boulder from the ceiling about to crash onto you. That's your excuse to use double slash going into the air. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna cast it for fun. I don't know. Cast it for fun. You're gonna destroy the boulder. Yes. Can I destroy the boulder, Riku? Yeah. Or. Okay, I use double slash and go upwards towards the ceiling to cut the boulder in half. Alright. She's slowly turning into Virgil. It begins. You're motivated enough. You are you are in the air, so before you start falling, you, you should probably take flight so you don't land on your ass. I can take flight? You're in the air. Oh. Um, okay. Fun fact, depending on how, how how big is the ceiling, because is it like 15 foot tall? No, the, ceil the ceiling is like 90 feet high. Oh, the, okay. This entire dungeon is falling apart. I mean, I mean the boulder as in, because if I, if I dash once 15 feet to the top, slash the boulder, use it once again to just dash in a like 3 degree angle towards the floor, not close enough to reach the bottom, but at least, like, a safe enough distance for me to, like, land properly. 90 feet. That's 27 meters. You have plenty of room. Yeah, okay. I'll use double slash to go upwards, slash the boulder, slash again towards the ground. But, and, like, over the, the wall, I mean. Okay. Now, before I let you do that, you still have to take account. You're still carrying Drago. I do that. Did all of that with Dropper, I'll catch her. <laughs> I th I throw Jaba towards Joshua as I, uh, I. Okay, this is what I do. I in the midst of me using double slash, I call out Joshua's name, uh, like throw Jaba towards him. He catches her. I slash the boulder. Use the like use the second slash to go down onto the floor. Next do to where Jaba and Joshua is. Oh dear. <laughs> Cause that's a lot of actions we're doing. That's why I'm asking if we have yeah. a whole sleight of hand. If it's a critical, I'm gonna laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> if she hits her head on the wall, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> that's good enough to catch her. Oh, thank God. Alright, I'm just gonna yeah, princess carry her then. Y'all can, uh, can go through the portal now. We could go through now? Yeah. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, eat. Alrighty. Here. Okay, you have successfully made it out. Everything all said and done. Let me remove this token because he is dead. 
uh, where's it? Where's that? Okay. So, oh, excuse me. So you want to make it out? You all are gonna catch your breath for a bit, and you set Draver down on the ground as you all reflect on past events. I'm gonna place her here on the shade, the grass. <sighs> Y'all gonna talk or do anything? Is there treasure? No. Can I use cure on this bitch to wake up? You like don't know if she's injured her. or not. Can I splash water on her and go like, oi? <laughs> Do you have water with you? Um, I can spit on her, I'm joking. The uh, closest thing you have to a liquid is, uh... Let me check. The fucking mega potions I gave you. <laughs> just throw it, like, splash a mega potion. Just dump it on her face. <laughs> Are you asking? Yeah, fuck it. Are you asking um, to do that? I mean... I feel like she's gonna wake up eventually, so I don't need to rush her waking up. But you don't she's know. been through it. I literally keep her unconscious. She's been through it. She needs, like, that rest. Oh. True. However, again... Oh my God, I use that butt. You don't know the state of her unconscious. You don't know if she's just, like... <laughs> what if she's if in she's a coma? knocked out, if she's been knocked okay. out through magic. Can well, I use a mega potion? Well, you mentioned that she got hit by a spell, so she's knocked out by magic. Yeah. Can I use a mega potion on her? Give me a, uh... Roll... Roll medicine. Medicine? That's a roll? Yeah. It's above nature and perception. Okay. So, you inspect her body for any physical discrepancies, scars, cuts, bruises, etc. Uh, you, you notice a small bruise on the back of her shoulder. And when you put your hand on it, it feels, it feels hardened underneath. And Ooh, you... Take a glance over at her neck, and you can't really make out what it is, but there, there's some kind of symbol there. You don't know if it's a tattoo, you don't know if it's a rune or a curse or what have you. And now I need you to roll Arcana. Allow me. I want to see if I could get anything. Oh, okay, you roll. Oh yeah, wait, no, no, hold on. I want to see yours as well now. I don't think I'm gonna get a higher roll than you, though. Oh, wait. We might as well try. Like, Riku, can we off the book this one? <laughs> nope, see? Oh. I told you. <laughs> my, my, my Arcana is... Yeah. Yashua so, wasn't known for magic. So, Rick, uh, Yashua takes his hand at inspection and he doesn't see anything wrong. But he doesn't you know, understand. You... You get the idea to conjure a a small spark of flame on your finger and you move it over that strange mark and you can tell that it it is a, a tattoo it's a magical tattoo there's no evil entity or energy within it it's just out of the ordinary and then you put that same flame on that bruise of hers and under the darkened skin you can see a, a pretty pretty nasty uh cut like it's a little deep kind of cut mm. so i use cure can i use cure on her 
Yes, now you can use Cure. Okay, I cast Cure. Okay. We do that on the wound, and it immediately closes up. And her breathing that was once uh, dangerously slow and quiet uh, returns to normal as she begins to stir in place, but she's not waking up just yet. Mm. May I cast Isana? Asuna? Yeah. For what? I don't know. For any anomalies. There, there isn't anything wrong with the status ailment wise. <clears throat> well, in that case, she's just tired then. Exhaustion. Um. Hmm. If you would like to speed along the process of her waking up, you can roll. Let's see here. You can roll performance to try and hum a tune of your choosing. Try to get her wake up. Oh, I got a loop. Perfect. I knew this day would come. <laughs> My performance is gonna be shit. Watch. Woo! Never mind. Have a rock. All right, so you. You play that loot of yours uh, incredibly I well. I shred it. And soon afterwards, she Yo, wakes I up. I want to hum Zelda's lullaby. She best wake up to the mat. I'm shredding the loot. <laughs> well, she woke up to both the loot and the lullaby. And she is looking around, trying to understand what she is. And when she makes eye contact with the two of you, she springs to her feet and backflips away from you. Oh, backflip? Oh, I see how it is. And she questions, how did we get here? Uh, what happened to me? Why was I on the ground like that? I'm gonna leave this one to Yashua. Oh, oh I want to still. I want to keep shredding, mind you. <laughs> mind you. Ah, uh, yes. Let All me right, tell her the fine. trauma whilst you're shredding it. All right, hold on. Give me a second. Okay. So, um. She's going to... Yeah, sorry, my room's getting noisy. Give me a sec. Okay. She's going to look around and she's going to ask, uh, why is he all the way over there and what happened to Bazad? Is he... Have you guys seen him since we apparently did what we were supposed to do in there? Oh, he died. Um... Did you say that in character? Uh, no, 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 I did not say that in character. Well, how the- okay, how the fuck do I break it to her that he literally got woofed? It is- By your guys' own hands. <laughs> I was like, you see, we murdered him. Um, how do I- how do I make my eyes tell her that he- he died without telling her that he died? Can um... I do that? Because I feel like it's more emotional. I was about to say, that one sounds like another know. performance. <laughs> roll charisma. Imagine I roll charisma and it's a fucking... Oh my god, and I fail it. Eee. Oh, thank god! Oh my god, this is pissing me off. Sorry about that. You're good. Uh, You look at her, and... It... It takes her... A while to comprehend your facial expression but soon after she she catches the hint and 
Her eyes are downcast at the ground. Okay, well. How did he die? Um. Riku, stop! <laughs> um. Stop what? Okay, uh. Is it so wrong for her, her, his fiance to want to know how he died? <laughs> no, no, it's just. I kind of feel bad telling her that I literally hit that fucker really hard and he went flying against the wall. <laughs> oh, we all attacked him. That didn't mean speaky. Okay, so anyways, um, Yashua looks around in a panic. How do I put it? Uh, he tried to sacrifice you to resurrect Garland. I'm not sure if you're familiar to who he was. Um, we stopped them from performing a sacrifice, yet he used himself as a medium. It didn't exactly kill him since Garland just tear him off his body. But he was enraged. He tried to kill us. In self defense, we fought back. It didn't end well for him. We tried to talk our way out, but he wouldn't listen. Did we try to talk our way out? Earlier. <laughs> I wasn't sure. That was a serious question. I don't remember this portion. <laughs> he had an obsession to saving the world, but sacrificing innocent lives, we couldn't just let that happen. In the addition of sacrificing yours. Hmm. Wow, that's uh Wow. She <laughs> looking at her, you can see that she is very quickly um devolving and closing herself off again and she's coming to terms with what she was just told and as she's as she's trying to get her head together she stops herself and she says you you mentioned uh, someone named Garland was it yes i i feel like i feel like i heard that name somewhere before i think you might have been like a history book or something i don't know a relative know of that, yours i just know that the name Fills me with a a weird sense of warmth. Uh, I don't know if we should. Well, can we tell her? Yeah, tell her. He, Riku. What was, what was Garland? A great grandfather? Yeah, like a like a super 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 great grandfather like they are centuries apart but oh, okay. she is so, uh, definitely his granddaughter well i'm glad that you feel that way after hearing that name he's a very old relative of yours what is he my grandpa or something or was he something my grandpa like that. something like that Great, 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 great grandfather. 
I'm pretty sure he only mentioned one when he mentioned her. He only mentioned well, he grandchild. Several centuries apart. True. So, uh, are you, wait, you're saying you fought my grandfather? Oh he, my god. He didn't give us a choice. We, I tried to. Give him a second opportunity to come with us. But he wanted, quote, the greatest fight of his lifetime. And I sure gave him one. He gave the choice of a 1v1. <laughs> Is. Wow. Is that. Was he really that kind of person? Someone worthy of our respect, yes. Honestly, the way I saw it, he would... Mm. A little bit hungry for battle, but a hero, no less. Huh. He's a pretty cool guy. Well, I wish I was conscious enough to talk to him I don't I don't know any of my other relatives except for my poor excuse of a dad and my failure of a mother well that's not fair to her that that whole situation wasn't really her fault but we're not gonna have that talk right now I don't know any of my other relatives, so that's cool, I guess. We should probably make our way back and get out of here. Right. Um, there's something. There's something else that the grandfather mentioned to us. I'm trying to remember what it was. Something about keeping an eye on her uh, he said to uh, make, to take care of her for him yeah but I don't think I want to tell her that I don't either yeah not yet at least mm -hmm. I want to wait until her character is more brighter now are we going to tell her we recalled her grandfather <laughs> no no that was, that was not, that was Cyril that said that, okay? Not you. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to assume that you all are done with this conversation? Yeah, we're all done talking. Mm -hmm. We should head back to the village. Okay. Shall I continue carrying her? Is she okay to walk by herself? Oh, she's good enough to walk. Okay. As you all start to make your way back to the village, you are suddenly surrounded. Come on, this is starting to feel like a Pokemon battle. And uh, what you happen to see <laughs> is definitely not good. Like, it's pretty bad. There are several hands in the immediate area around all of you. Oh, how diggity. And you can see a weird, weird cluster of malevolent entities and spirits uh, back from where the portal came from and it is facing you. And uh um let's see, let's go. <laughs> How 
what now? Give us a break. I put my hand on my sword. <laughs> and just stare at stare at them, exhausted. Well, and me is fighting time. Alright. I'm probably gonna go last because my speed isn't uh, the best. Uh, his speed is 126. Yeah. Doesn't everyone else have higher speeds though? Oh, Ice definitely has higher speed than you two. I forgot to do recalculation of a one handed weapon. I regret everything now. <laughs> Rip. It'd be a quick thing. I'm assuming I'm going. Okay, who's going first? Uh, you have higher speed. Uh huh. Oh, I'm not sure if the enemy, but if the enemy has a higher speed than me, huh? The hands don't, but that uh, that cloud of, or not that cluster of spirits, uh, it it moves very slowly, and you, it looks like something that absolutely should not touch you. God damn, I was about to touch it. After after the cluster thing though, uh, it is your turn. Well, I'm gonna put on the trusty old sword and shield. Going old school. A muscle flex. <laughs> okay. Always my way on over. And slap this culture of spirit. Like any reasonable. Actually, I'm gonna cast spark. Spark strike on myself, and then slap the cluster of spirit. Like uh, you need to roll Intimidation and a Charisma save. I got this. When I say I got this, I mean I probably don't. That's good. That's decent. <laughs> you managed to fight through the overwhelming sense of fear and uh, paranoia and you... you Continue with your attack at the cluster. Oh, I kind of do this three. So let me just roll this right quick out the way before I forget. Okay. Anyway, it's smacking it. <laughs> I don't have much for one handed yet, but it's better than not. You dealt five damage to it. Yeah. Oh, it's moving up in the world. <laughs> oh, nah, time to defend. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Probably Yashu. Yahoo! So... I don't know if Dreva is in fighting condition, but we should guard her. I mean, you won't know that the return comes around. Exactly. So I'm just gonna shoot that the thing beside her. Get some of my bullets back too while I'm at it. Well, you sure did uh, completely obliterate this the hand, so that one's gone. Are you attacking this one? Yep. Okay. Let's just say you kill two of them. Oh, fair. All 
Wait. Next. Next as in next attack, or? Next as in you. So, I okay. To this hand over here, I want to use Dragon Slice five times. Okay. Pulverizing the hand, poor thing. And if it dies before I my attacks finish, I want to go to another hand, just in case it dies. I mean. Well, it went down with the first hit, so. Oh. Um. Well. Oh dear. I should I should put a, okay another hand number two I guess. Yeah, you know, remember that whole patience thing I keep bragging on you for? Perhaps. Okay, so hand, hold on. hand two. Did you attack the hand? Oh, um, one second. Let me just change my. Thing, I attack again. Dragon Slice. Uh, it's dead again. Okay, hand number three, over here. And Dragon Slice. And that one too is dead. And one more time. Bonk. Now my attack has increased by 50 and I can't increase it anymore. I remember you told me that. Okay. Uh, Jiva is going to take her turn. She's going to... She's going to look at that... Uh, that cluster of skulls and evil spirits. And we're going to see just how shaken she is. She isn't shaking in the slightest, and she's gonna drop a big fat thunder four on it. She's gonna do it again. And when she did that, it again only took five damage. She's getting frustrated as to why this thing isn't getting obliterated. And I'm gonna have her roll. Wisdom. There we go. Okay, so she comes to the conclusion that we should not be wasting our time trying to fight this thing. That we should most certainly run away oh. as far and as fast as we can. I bye guys. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Uh, yeah. Sounds like a great idea. Drava, how fast are you exactly? <laughs> um, well, uh, carrying this big ass scythe is probably gonna slow me down a bit. Uh, you guys can fly, can't you? The you, yeah, you, Mel. Hey, uh, carry me. I don't want to get touched right, by okay. that thing. <laughs> You know, my whole plan was to literally interrupt her, grab her, and take off. But this is better. I, I hold her and go like, I let's go, guys, follow. Scatter. Scatter. It was just, it's going separate ways. It's gonna oh no! No! <laughs> oh. 
Before I, I fully, before I fully fly away, <laughs> I want to test something. I'm gonna put away my total coach this and cast good old trusty magic. Okay. But I think we encountered an undead once. At one point, I believe. Mm -hmm. If not, if, uh, like this is an actual question. Did we actually encounter an undead once? Once. Besides this dungeon. Okay. Do I have an idea? I think at the time this used somewhat holy magic. So I'm gonna do trust the old Kier. I slapped on the spirits. I'm curious to see what happens. Okay. Mm. It's all in the name of science. And me maybe getting touched by a spirit because I just had to do it in the name of science. <laughs> uh, you cast Cure on it and it sure does take 739 points of damage. But as you do that, it gets a little bit faster. Ah, interesting. Well, then I'll leave. He's angry now. Bye. <laughs> uh, maybe I could kill it as I go back. <laughs> oh no, another undead. <laughs> he's, well, he's dead, dead now. Oh god, he's still following us. Yep. It's like, oh shit. Okay, well, hold on. We can't keep running because then it will direct it towards the village. We won't. I know. We god damn it. It's okay. Okay. Mana. What? Um, wait. Is there twenty-five mana. Or is it tw twenty? I believe. Okay. Now. Riku, can I attack now? I want to yeah. test something. Uh, you can. Okay, what I wanna. What kind of attack are you gonna do though? I'm gonna cast Cure on my sword. Okay. And I wanna use Prism Katana. So you're using a melee strike, yes? Oh. <laughs> yes? Wait, hold on. If I use Prism Beam with my sword casted by Cure, does my Prism Beam also have Cure on it? Prism Beam is a neutral element magic attack. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Wait, how about Prism Katana? If I use it, it will ca cure, right? Cure will also smack it. Okay. You need to roll uh, Intimidation and Charisma. Say. Um. Or did I say Riddle? Charisma. Intimidation. You said say the first time. Yeah, uh, Intimidation and Charisma save. Oh, okay. Um, Charisma. Alright. Uh, you approach the cluster and the aura around it uh, causes you to change to quickly change your mind about oh swinging your weapon at it. So what's the range of clear? What? What's the range of clear? Anything you can see. Oh I'm gonna sit back over here. And cast care five times. Uh, wait for everybody else to move over first, and then cast care five times on it. Okay, wait. Hold on. You you don't have natural sight of that much now. Oh. I mean, if, if it's clear of on day, bridge, it's hard to miss something that big. <laughs> and I'm flying. True, but I'm not going to get away with that much. I mean, I could. I have the range for it. I can say it with this. <laughs> All right. What oh, sorry. I, I, sorry, I, I wanted... Um, <laughs> I kept trying to click on the cogwheel, but I kept rolling it instead. Oh. I'm going to power invested in me. Not that it's holy. <laughs> Which ain't much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're casting here again. Yep. 
All right, that's another 739 of damage. It it speeds up even more. Oh god, this is horrifying. But it has shrunken in size a little bit. We should all bombard it with cure. We all hold hands together. <laughs> god, it's saying fairy tale. I actually <laughs> want to do that now. Can we please? If you want to. Ice. Consent. Ice. Over there. Buddy. No. Ice. Come over here, Ice. No. Actually. Can I want persuasion on him? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's okay, I will grab Ice from his beard. <laughs> <laughs> if Ice is already gone. <laughs> no, he's flying. We can't reach him. He doesn't want to do the cringe shit with us. Okay, fine. You know what? We'll do it. Fuck it, yes. I, I hold on, Dra I Wait, Riku, can I hold Drava's hand? <laughs> I'd rather stay closer to the spirit than you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, you can hold Drava's hand if you want to. Okay, and then I- can I persuade her to also use Cure with us? You don't know if she knows Cure. I, can well, I ask her? Okay, um, Drava, do you know how to use Cure? No. I Fuck, don't. never mind. I have something else that might work. Oh. What is it? Fuck around and find out. I right, fuck it, okay. I, I love I, I the sound of that, let's do it. <laughs> I grab her hand and I grab Yoshua's hand. Uh, Can we do like... I have to roll charisma save or whatever to attack it? That's only with if you're gonna roll up and hit with melee. Oh, uh, nah, fuck that, I'm gonna keep my distance. Ice, okay, okay, we can really cast it. this big ass ball of cure 15. I'm joking. <laughs> Ready? On the count of three, we cast cure. One, two, two three. three. Cure! Cure! Okay, so. Mel, you did 360 with it. And then. Yashua, you did. You did 608, and then Mel is going to cast Glare. So oh, she's glaring daggers. And then after that, she's going to cast Holy too. Oh, wow. Okay, after doing that, uh, the cluster of spirits begins, uh, very loudly, uh, shouting and screaming in seemingly rage. And it again speeds up, so it's like pretty much right here. And the closer it gets, the louder the screams becomes. And I need all of you to roll wisdom. Wisdom save, specifically. All right. So as it gets close, you hear it scream. Chill, chill. And because you all passed your wisdom saves, none of you take any HP damage or lose any MP. So, good on y'all. Yay. But, uh... Power now it has a... <laughs> it has a pretty threatening aura around it, and you absolutely should not allow it to touch you. How far are we from the village? Like, how many more maps? Mm. About two.
However, there is there is a detour you can make. I'm not going to tell you where it is. Uh, gonna gonna assume we could follow these path. This fucking to follow this path or this path since it seems to be a stream, a dry stream. Does it lead anywhere? Let's find out. Yeah, that's up to you to find out. I'll fly through this way. Alright, so you fly that way and you... It's it's a large series of trees and nature, so it's pretty hard to see through. Roll perception. Crash into a tree, please. No, you, okay. you can just barely see an opening and you can see what you think might be a body of water a body of water is it possible to use cure on the water to turn into holy water that is if I get there Because I could be bait and just dr make it follow me all the way where the body of water is. Sure. Okay, so how am I going to bait him? Do I have to cast care on him just to piss him off? Mm. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, sure. Cast cure on this motherfucker. Okay. It takes another 6 or 8 of damage and it is very quickly chasing you down. Time to go. <laughs> so you lead it through the trees and whatnot and you come out and you see a, a nice little river stream. Right. So you said you want to cast here on the water? Yep. Okay. Oh. I want to see if I could bless the water and just make him like attack me directly, like crash into me. And if possible, the last second just fly out of the way. At full throttle. They're literally burning all my mana, going terminal velocity. Okay. I'm gonna need a, I need an Arcana check, okay, an Intelligence check, and a, de a Dexterity check. Okay, so Arcana check is it? Wait, those are skills. Okay, I know saving throws and skills. Yeah, just just click the Arcana thing. Okay. You said Arcana, Intelligence, and Dexterity? Yep. Oof. Okay. Uh, where is Dexterity? And Intelligence. Okay, so in your attempts to purify the water, you only purify a very small section of it, which is pretty much where you're standing. However, the cluster does take note of it, and it very quickly makes a beeline for you, 
and at the last feasible second, you manage to fly out of the way and back towards the party, but the aura from the cluster does burn your foot a little bit. But once it makes contact with the water, it dissipates into nothing and it is dead again. And that threat has been dealt with. And as a result of making contact with the uh, with the cluster of spirits, you take 75 HP and 150 MP damage. Move it back. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I pretty much burnt almost all of my MP for that stunt. <laughs> nice. Okay. With that threat gone out of the way. I just crash land over here. Yeah, you all look amongst yourselves and without even speaking about it. Uh, I see you go over and you pick up Yashua since he appears to be fucking tapped of energy and all of you fly back to the village. I swear to God, if you princess carry me, I will murder you. I just princess carry you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you all, you all make it back to the village. Uh, the the exhaustion is very clear amongst your faces and your bodies, and you you borderline screw up the landing landing into the woods because all of you land about right right here and when you want to make contact with the ground you subsequently uh fall backwards on your ass from exhaustion and everyone is up applaud and happy and they're cheering you came back but before any of you even have a chance to speak uh y'all pass out and are dead asleep on the ground and look at I... well all of you except Drava is uh sleep and shit and whatnot but uh everyone they check to make sure nothing is like dangerously wrong with any of you and Angela, Angela picks up Mel, uh, Mayor picks up Yashua, Ifrit picks up Ice, and you all are carried off to the inn. Wait, who's carrying me? Angela. Oh. I keep yawning and I don't know why. Because you're exhausted, just like your character. True. Am I even sleepy? <laughs> And just keep yawning. So we're gonna time skip of about a day and a half. That's how long y'all slept. So y'all, y'all come through, come to, and you recall all the prior events that took place. And you try to stand on your feet and, well, you do manage to get out of bed. Uh, you struggle to make it to the door. And uh, Drava is in Mel's room. I don't like the little lucky oh, shot to look after myself. <laughs> She's in my room. That's so interesting. And she stops you from walking and she sits you back down on the bed. And before you even have a chance to object, she hands you some fruit 
and she leaves to go get Angela. And not too long after that, uh, Angela comes back with Mel in tow. I mean, with Driven in tow. Whoops. <laughs> and Angela says that she got the rundown from Drava about everything that happened, even the things that she was apprised of while she was unconscious. And she apologizes, but she mentions that she briefly went through your belongings just to see if it was the same person that she was thinking of. And she looked at the armor fragment that you had. And she explains that this isn't the exact same armor, but it was made in the same way. So maybe that was uh, the one you all thought was a different garland than the one I know. <sighs> Regardless, as she tries to keep herself from tearing up she expresses that she is happy incredibly so that all of you made it back alive and well and that she was she was worried that it was going to take you all longer to wake up but it was actually uh, Tyr and Fiend who were Worried the most about all of you. And she says that. She, Angela says that she's going to go. Check on the others. To see how they're doing. And so now the scene is. Mel and Drava. Uh, in Mel's room. And. Whatever you would like to say. Or want to say or try to do. You can do that. Okay. Um, am I still eating the food that she gave me? Uh, you finished it already. Oh, I look at her and I say thank you for. I look at her and I say thank you for thank you for the fruits. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're welcome. I uh, I went and picked them out because. When I was, when I used to do what you were doing, uh, anytime I found myself being super exhausted, I always had some fruit nearby to fix me up. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you got some fruit for me? Don't push it. <laughs> I laugh and then once like five seconds pass i look at her and i ask how are you feeling from yesterday was it yesterday how long did we pass out Rico? you all were asleep for a day and a half <laughs> okay i ask her like how are you feeling um well physically um <sighs> i'm fine you can roll insight right now. Cap. <laughs> you you can you can very easily tell that she's lying through her teeth. Are you sure you're fine? <sighs> no. I'm not. I I can't stop I can't sit still I can't stop shaking I can't stop freaking out I every time I blink I think something's going to happen I no I'm not okay happy she is visibly shaking in place can I hold her hand, Riku? You would have to roll strength because you're strength. Still, you're still physically exhausted and she's on the other side of the room. 
She's on the other side of the room. Hold on, no. Oh, okay, I rolled stealth by mistake, my bad. <laughs> Fucking sneak up behind her, no. Nothing personal. I, I gesture her to come and sit by my bed. Or next to me. On my bed, at least. Charisma roll. Do. Where's Charisma? Quop. Alright. Good enough. Alright, so... You beckon her to come over, and... Reluctantly, she does, and she... Plops down on the bed, and now that she is closer to you, you can see that physically she is shaking, and while she's trying to hide it, if she wasn't trying to mask how she was feeling so well, uh, she would be shaking as if she'd be freezing out in the cold right now. God... My poor baby. God, I love her so much. She's so cute. Uh, I put my hand on her shoulder and say, It's okay. You don't need to act so tough. No one can see you here right now. You say that, but you're conscious and you're looking at me. Am I the type to judge? I don't... Based on how you've been expression. lately, uh, hmm. no. Mine is that time you called me a bitch, but no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. I look at her and I start laughing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Why did... <laughs> She's... Again, struggling to come up with... Words to say. And... After witnessing her do this for so long... You can tell that... She has a really bad habit of... Getting ready to say something... And then she cuts herself off and tries to say something else. Mm. Why do you keep trying to change what you originally think? Uh, well, I... Ever since I... Stopped... Doing the whole... Adventurer thing, um... And I tried to do music and whatnot and every time I would come up with a business plan or present something to someone they would interrupt me as I spoke and not let me finish and uh, whenever we would go to different cities and villages and whatnot just just because of my appearance uh, well, people wouldn't give me the time of day. And I, I know I don't look normal, but hell, the mayor is a lion person thing. Uh, the, that one girl in the, in the rabbit lady, she's part demon dragon, so why do I get so much shit? And I just... I... It's been a long time since I've been allowed to be open and whatnot. Let alone my con consistently broken emotional state. <laughs> Riku, your character insert is vibing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hit her with the fucking logic. Dreva, this whole entire time you were talking, did I ever interrupt you once? She looks at you in a, in, in a facial expression that says no. 
exactly. Because I'm here to listen to you. With whatever issue you have, or with whatever concern. Even if it's about if the water is a bit too warm for your liking and you want it a bit colder, fuck it, I'll sit here and I'll listen. There is no need for anyone to treat you differently just because of what you look like. So I'm here for you. She faces away from you, but you can see the smallest tint of red flush on her face. Oh. And she says, speaking of water, uh, there's a the bathroom is just down the hall and that water gets comfortably hot actually right god <laughs> and it uh, reminded me of this hot spring i went to once though we we found it on accident because our, our mage decided to blow a hole in the ground because he was angry and we found a hot spring. Anyway, um, when you start to feel better, go hop in a bath and treat yourself or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know how this whole thing works, okay? Telling someone to go take care of themselves. I'll do so. You should show me where that hot spring is someday. Yeah. Yeah. And as she says that, you can... You notice her fidgeting with her hands and... She keeps crossing them over one another. Ooh. Oh dear. I really like this character because... I know. I know. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I'm not gonna try anything. So. <laughs> uh, as she... She turns to face you. And... When... When she makes eye contact with you... She... She notices... She... She notices the smile on your face and she immediately ceases eye contact, looks at to your hands, and then she looks at the floor. Oh, she wants to touch hands. That's so lewd. <laughs> so lewd. She wants to touch hands. That's so lewd. That's so lewd. Anyway, uh, she then speaks up again and she asks you did 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 Bazad really was he really going to use me as a sacrifice I let out a slight exhale yes sadly and I I know your relationship with him I even with that in mind, I still couldn't let him use you as a sacrifice like that. It's uh, I wouldn't know how I would, how I could forgive myself. And here I thought he. She tries not to tear up. I hold her hand. There we go. That's a good access. I. We were, we were a thing. We, we, we were engaged. Why would he, why would he do that? I, what, did, did all that time that we spent together mean fucking nothing to him? I, and, before you say anything, I I know that, that that probably wasn't going to be his goal, or wasn't his goal all this time, but I just, after not seeing me for so long, 
it, ten, t ten years, he looked for me, and he looked, and he looked, I looked for him, and then, he just, well, we both gave up, so I can't depend that on him, but, he sees me again after all this time, and then, just, I'm a sacrifice to him? Did I... Did I mean that little to him when we met again? And at this point, the waterworks are going. And she's, she's trying not to break down into a sobbing mess. But... Uh, yeah, she, she's pretty messed up right now. Mm -hmm. And then... And then on top of the fact that I I could have had the chance to meet my grandfather or rather my one of many great grandfathers and that rotten bastard wanted to take that from me granted he there's no way he could have known but why just God damn it. And now the waterworks are in full effect. Okay. She is sobbing. I hold her in close. And I stay silent. I don't think any words I'll say right now would uh, make her feel better about the situation. Okay. Unless, no. Unless what? I was gonna say, <laughs> I don't know. I was just gonna say, it's like honestly, he's just a bitch. <laughs> but I don't think she'd enjoy that, knowing her personality. <laughs> as you hold her close, and as she's crying, um, she, bef before you even realize it and comprehend, she is like fully wrapped her arms around you and is like like if if, if she would have put forth any more force into this hug she would wind up uh, pushing you backwards and she would she, she'd be like she'd be clinging on to you like a magnet if she mm -hmm. holds you any tighter than what she is right now oh I put my hand on her head and caress her hair. 10 out of 10. And just whisper, it's going to be okay. Take it easy on yourself. She... She looks up at you. Just, just her eyes. The, the majority of her face is, is buried in... Buried into your stomach. But she just looks up at you with her eyes and she goes back to crying like a like a newborn. Oh. And, My baby. and from there we are going to scene change and Angela is in Ice's room. I see he's trying to let Shakuja's muscles awake. <laughs> Since Adam didn't accept his help. Man, it's just, just consistently powering up and shit. It's the best way to wake up one muscle. Electric shock. <laughs> Electric stimuli to power muscle. Yes, that's a real thing. Yeah. And <laughs> just she, like a jig of mine. And Angela is just watching you from the doorway. What the hell I are am. you doing? Massaging my muscles. You're doing that thing in front of taught you, didn't, aren't you? No, this is from a spark badge. If I was the other one, I mean, I could attempt it. No, no, just stop, stop, cut it out. Angela walks over and her hand is, ow, bit my tongue. Her hand is shining white. She places her hand on your shoulder 
and you now have full physical capability again. Thank God. Thank you. So, oh. she leans back on a wall. So, give me the rundown from your perspective. What was what was the garland that you fought like? The quickest rundown? Uh, he gave his backstory. And I explained the backstory of how he was a hero who had a rival who died by sickness and he turned to a life of combat. And then, uh, yeah. Some disrespect here and there, and some final words. And that's that. <laughs> hmm. I see. You don't have this sword. That's plenty to you. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, these sounds familiar to the one I knew, but not exactly the same one. He could have been weakened. Yeah. It almost sounds like he was shoved into a tent body and had his original body. Yeah, that's... That could be the case. Given that... While... The transference of... A soul to a... Container, so to say. Isn't taboo, it's... Still an imperfect process, and it's still heavily looked down upon. But... That aside, how... How was the fight itself? What was... What was it like fighting someone who was borderline a god in terms of raw strength? Well, in his state, as I... I won't go to like, saying all of it, but I, like, I will explain the details. All the attacks, the amount of hits that he took, the amount of blood that was questionably lost, a lot of that blood was his own. <laughs> and yeah. How he had, like, what? How he always, like, burst, burst limit break. Do one of the spells. I was it to, you know, at the end, still able to pull out another one at the end. Hmm. Well. Oh. Had one heck of a stamina to him. That. That unique spells. Interesting. Interesting. Do forgive me for what I'm about to do. And before you can respond, she places her hand on your forehead and she focuses and she takes a small glimpse into your memories of the encounter and once the process is done she speaks again wow you you weren't kidding were you that's man am i glad he didn't make it here or yeah. whatever that rotten bastard was planning to do with via resurrecting him Oh, all is said and done. That's one portion we don't have to worry about. And probably... 999,000 cell problems to worry about elsewhere. Yeah... True. Anyway, I'm going to go check on your other friend. You, um... You do you. I know yes. you. You're capable enough of handling things and after that I'm going to scene change to Fiend and Angela talking to Yashua in his room oh so how's uh how's it been and when I say that I mean 
from the very first second you woke up here to now, what would you say your experience has been like? And if possible, how would you uh, compare this to your world? Fiend asks you in inquisitively. Inquisitively, that's the word I was trying to say. Honestly, Yashua sighs. It's the differences and experiences here. It's completely different from where I'm from. Complete night and day. The horrors here are in a completely different level. Granted, we have our own horrors back home, but this is something else. Huh. Oh. I was going to crack a joke, but now is not the time for that, given your response to my question. So, I, uh, want to ask you something. If, if you had a different choice in the matter, or if you could trade places with someone, would you do it? Trade places? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Instead of doing this whole adventure thing, you decided to trade and become a businessman, and the businessman become the adventurer. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. Just like at home, I'm not gonna run away from my problems. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you answered like that, because if you said anything that wasn't sticking to your guns, uh, I wouldn't let you anywhere near tear. Ever again. Come on. Who do you take me for? Fair enough. And, uh... Oh! Hey, Angela, what's up? Don't mind me. Continue your conversation. I'm just watching. And... <laughs> Fiend... Her, her last question is, uh, well, do you think that once you're back up to snuff, do you think you would, uh, be willing to have a, a small bout with Tear and I, so we can truly understand just how just how determined and the the real power, so to say, that's somewhere within you, according to what the God who sent you here did. What do you say? Did he he um did something and fiddled with your soul or something like that in the afterlife? I, from what I call, from what I recall, we received some blessings but besides that it, it's very hazy to me i'm i'm riku i'm saying this because i actually don't remember <laughs> since i wasn't around for the early sessions uh in session zero uh when you all died and you were in the void uh cora quite literally unlocked a section of your soul and that being the reason why you have the power that you do so you know you are actually there for that portion, I believe. I wasn't. No. No, I was. Oh. He he was that. I was playing his character for him. Oh yeah. I all I remember was. That. That's um, why I, I asked. All I remember was 
uh, what you call it, somebody sent the portal with me at this time. Yeah. Well, that's cool and all, but you didn't answer my question about uh, having a friendly battle with us. A spar? Yeah. I see why not. From one... A good fight with friends every now and again is always a good time for me. Yeah, plus I want to... Well, Don't tell Tyr I said this, but from one machine and gun nerd to another, I want to see what you can really do with that. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to be a little patient because I don't have the same arsenal here as I do at home. Hmm. Tell you what, once I do manage to build a solar reactor, then I'll let you give it a test run. A solar what? It's it's one of the f primary weapons I like using at home. I'm going to act like I know what you said, but cool. Okay. Think of it as... Think of it as... An energy field that could be weaponized at your will. Hmm. I'm going to... If I replace energy with magic, it makes more sense to me. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. I'm gonna go... Bother... Deer again. See you around. Have fun. Yeah, sure, I just literally just... From sitting up in the bed, just... Falls back. Angela pulls up a chair by the bed. And she goes, hey, how's it, uh, well, she already asked you, so I'm going to ask you, how are you feeling physically? Mm, feeling a little bit of a phantom pain on my left leg. It, 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 it burns a bit, probably due to that spirit encounter. What, what was that thing that we came across a cluster of spirits mm -hmm. when it just grazed my leg or my foot mm -hmm. yeah it still burns oh let me let me take a look at that and before you can even say anything she yanks the covers off the bed and she rolls up your pant leg and she's examining your leg and your foot huh I haven't seen this in quite some time. Man, y'all must have really pissed something off in there. And as she says that, uh, she is slowly dragging her hand across the burn wound. And when she finishes her sentence, the burn wound is gone and your leg is no longer feeling phantom pain. Huh. How'd you... Yasha just looks at his... Grabs his foot and just looks at it. You know, just flicks it a couple of times where the burn was. How'd you even... Kid, I know a lot of magic. Gotta remember, I used to be a soldier. I dabble with stuff every now and then, and, uh, well... <laughs> This is, this is, uh, don't tell anyone, and by anyone, I mean your, your buddies, but after mayor, I am the strongest person here in the village. Oh? Both physically and magically. Well, I want to clarify person because if Frida doesn't count she is an entity of her own being 
Of but course. if our record of <laughs> five to three means anything, yeah. Anyway, you were saying. Saying, wait, what were we talking about again? You questioned her about how she removed the burn wound. Ah. Uh, yeah. No, it's just I didn't think you had military experience since you don't really look the type, but <laughs> who am I to know that? Yeah, I get that a lot. I mean. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn or anything, but when you're a 20 out of 10 bombshell like me, of course no one's gonna think I used to be in wars. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I like should have just laughed out loud. Right. Yeah. Anywho. Comparing your military service to mine, yours is... Oh, man. Your yours is something else, I imagine. How old are you again? Uh in your time, not Palanesian time. Right. The human lifespan in our time has tripled. Uh put it simply, I'm still considered a teenager. Even though I've been alive for only 40 years. Hmm. And you've been in... Military world for how long? Well, it's... Ever, ever since I was a child. Well... That, that's why I had an early retirement, since I was a child soldier. Well, I'll put it to you bluntly. Uh, compared to me, you're still a newborn infant. Yeah. I could imagine that, knowing your lifespan. Oh well. We can trade war stories some other time. I have some things I need to attend to. So, whenever you're feeling up to it, which by the way, uh, you can you can walk around like normal again. That's what I was also doing as I got rid of that disgusting burn wound for you. And, uh, I will see you around, kiddo. Take care. Alright, and now we see him change back to Mel and Dravo. How diggity. Alright. Uh, Drava has just about finished crying her eyes out, but she's still holding on to you and not letting go. Hmm. I caress her hand head one final time. And uh Wipe the tears, wipe the remaining tears off her face. If, if this is getting a little awkward for you, I'm sorry, I just, it's been... No, no it's not. It's been way, way too long since I was able to feel another person's presence like this. But if you, if you say so, that's... Cool, I guess. Uh, I should. Are you? Are you hungry? Do you? Do you want anything? Um. I'm actually starving. Would you like to go to a restaurant together? See if there's anything we can eat. I. Yeah, but. A bath first. Mmm. A bath together. No, this is slow burner. <laughs> I can't rush her. Well, female friends always take baths together. That is true, actually. <laughs> no, poor Draper. She fucking die. 
But I'm gonna tease her about it. Hold on. I, I look down at her, I'm like, Oh yes, a bath first. Good idea. And then I notice that she's still holding on to me. It's like... I mean, if you're gonna keep holding on to me like this, we might as well go to, go to the shower together. And after <laughs> saying that, she very quickly lets go <laughs> and she announces that she already took her shower. So there will be no need for that. Mm, you're fast. <laughs> <laughs> She's prepared. <laughs> she literally said, I knew this bitch would do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, she, she, uh, she has to, she'll wait in the hallway for you to grab whatever clothes you're gonna put on and help you get to the showers. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Um... Where's she gonna take me to the showers? Yeah, she's gonna help you walk there because uh, Angela only fully restored you, uh, not uh, Yashua and Ice. You're still struggling to walk. I'm oh, still damn. bedridden, so I'm just vibing and relaxing, listening to my music on my phone. <laughs> I hold on to her shoulder. Mind if I lean on you whilst I go there? I kind of can't walk properly. Yeah, well, that's. I'm not finishing that sentence. Hmm? No. No, I'm not. Uh, oh? You sure? I'm not finishing that sentence. Uh-huh, okay. I laugh knowing that knowing I already know what she was going to say. I see flowers and sparkles in the atmosphere. <laughs> the gays are walking. And as you mosey on down through the hallway, uh... Now you finally take a moment to take a a good look at Dreva as she is just hard focusing on walking down the hallway. And if you were to rate her out of ten, she's a solid eight. Woo! <laughs> God damn. Mm. Nosebleed. No. <laughs> and wait, can... oh my god. Oh. Proceed. No, no, no. Because I was thinking, like, my character is very, very... Literally, personality trait. Straightforward, no filter. <laughs> okay, well, before you say Sorry. what you were about to say, you can tell that... You can also tell that she's, uh... She's pretty well-toned. And... She looks like she could... If she really tried hard enough, she could lift a small house mm. like she 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 is deceptively built oh my god oh okay now you can say whatever you're gonna say i wanted to say <laughs> i just wanted to look at her and smile and say you look pretty i'm i'm gonna ignore that Oh why? <laughs> um, but you do. <sighs> okay, whatever. Just hmm? focus on walking. Damn it. Oh yeah, I captain. <sighs> <laughs> okay, here we are. I know I'm sure you can get inside and Maneuver everything on your own, so I'll just wait out here for you. How do I... Uh, oh wait, I want to get confused a bit because you know how whenever you go to like a new place or to a friend's house and you try to use their shower, you're like, where the fuck is the hot water? Oh my water? fucking god, dog. <laughs> <laughs> my friends do that I look, to I, me. I, I look at the water, I look at the top and I go like, hmm. Hey, Dreva, do you know how to work this thing? I'm kind of lost. Uh, do I really have... Fuck it. She... She walks... She Okay, so she doesn't know if you've undressed already or not, but she walks <gasps> into the bathroom covering her eyes with her hair. And she goes to where the faucets are, 
and she takes her hand and she creates a a little diamond looking thing this one is the hot water this one is the cold water i'm gonna leave right now i uncover her eyes just to notice her panic only for her to notice that i'm still wearing my clothes can i do that roll roll uh strength mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, you you uncover her eyes with your hand and she notices that you're still dressed and now she's she looks at the mirror, looks and sees how embarrassed she is and then she <laughs> borderline sprints out of the bathroom. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> I proceed to take my shower then. And as you are, as you're taking your shower, and as Jeva is waiting outside the bathroom for you, uh, as, as she said, the water is very comfortably hot, and you feel all of your physical exhaustion being literally washed away from you, and you are back at full HP, full MP, and you feel you feel a very strong sense of uh, invigoration, like you ready to take on the fucking world. Yeah. And amidst all that, uh, roll wisdom. Oh. Um. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not. It's not a, one chromosome. It's not a failure, so you pass. Oh, okay. But you get the feeling that there is that Draven may need someone she can consider a best friend and someone to really keep an eye out for her. And you also think, and you also reflect on when she mentioned that people would kind of do her dirty just because of how she looked. And now I need a perception roll. All right, you you listen out into the hallway because the door isn't that far from the shower, and. Through sheer concentration, you can hear some of the other tenants of the inn muttering amongst themselves that uh, it's pretty much, you know, them shitting on Drava's name and saying unsavory things about her just because of what's happened over the last few days since, since she showed up. And you, well, you don't like that. Mm. <laughs> well, fuck it. I'm leaving the shower completely naked just to confront them. Bruh. <laughs> this is full on intimidation. Are you right, serious? Intimidation. Yes. <laughs> fuck. Roll that again. <laughs> Fuck me, man! <laughs> okay, okay you roll, know what? Ro just roll charisma. <laughs> man! Where's my charisma? <laughs> okay! There we That's go. Better. <laughs> okay. So, you bolt out of the bathroom, borderline uh, knock Drava over because you didn't know how close she was standing by the door. Oh. <laughs> and. Oh no! <laughs> you. Oh. What do you want to say to the tenants in the hallway? As they are too in shock at you just bolting out of the bathroom door. I want to say what you said a little bit louder for the people in the back. Uh, 
they look at you and they're they, they are startled and the woman doesn't repeat what she said out of fear but the man he goes on a small tirade about how oh everything was going fine and dandy before this little brat showed up and started screwing with everything and uh, we've had more attacks than normal in the last few days and uh, all this she shouldn't be here right like we had a whole festival thing going and it's just frustrating that we have to put up with this brat all because mayor and angela said so because they decided to have a change of heart for whatever reason mm. riku swearing aloud <laughs> As long as you don't start swearing like a sailor, aka like you no. normally do. Okay, no, I won't do that. <laughs> okay, but you feel feel free to pop off. Okay, I, I I look at him very deeply into his eyes and slowly start walking forward. Oh, the balls! You might have to actually repeat what you literally just said. The last time I checked, you guys didn't go through anything. The last time I checked again, the whole entire village didn't even lay a single scratch on itself. Who saved you guys? Us. Right? And Dreva, the person that you're also bullshitting right now and completely just insulting her for no absolute reason, also saved you guys, by the way. So please, please enjoy. <laughs> enjoy trying to roast her. <laughs> Last time I checked, you guys didn't do anything to help us, now did you? Keep your tongue in your mouth and don't speak. And by the way, like, the whole entire time, I was still walking forward. I am looking dead into this dude's eyes. He's literally, like, an inch away from me. After that small speech of yours, uh, the man and his wife, they completely fold. And the wife apologizes. And... The husband... Or well, the man also apologizes and they they walk away in shame have a nice day <laughs> i said that out loud i told them to have a nice day they flinch when you say that like visibly flinch and you were wearing your birthday suit when you did that too fucking metal <laughs> I looked at the floor and Dave was still like just on there. Oh, uh, she is. What's Dreva doing? Dreva is. Trying to knock her over. Well, yeah, like, like you almost did, but she's like so standing at the wall, and oh. she is partly in shock at the way you so quickly <clears throat> came to her defense, but. She's also in shock at the completely naked woman right in front of her, and she is <laughs> she is desperately trying to maintain eye contact with you. <laughs> I look at her and I and I exhale. I'm like, "Woo!" Anyway, <laughs> that was pretty rude of them for no fucking reason. You doing okay? <laughs> she does not respond oh she is very, I start flicking. <laughs> she is very clearly distracted <laughs> i look at her and i notice a tiny bit of a blush <laughs> i'm like oh Dre, but do you like what you see <laughs> huh what uh no Sh shut up why oh <laughs> <sighs> um and like she she snaps back to reality and she is trying to like do her thing of defiance again, but uh, once she fully processes the state you're in right now, she turns away so quickly that her forehead makes contact with the wall, like a <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so adorable, dude. That's fucking fantastic. 
Oh my god. And she borderline shouts at you. Put some goddamn clothes on. Please. But I'm still not done with my shower. <laughs> okay. Uh what, what 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 right does that give you to come out here in all your goddamn glory and you didn't finish? Go finish! Uh, glory! <laughs> you didn't Doesn't hear like that. Body that much. You didn't hear that. You did not. Ooh. You did not. Oh. You did not. I mean, I'm pretty sure you said it. Shut up. No. Oh. <laughs> pretty sure you did. I love the relationship that you two are making. <laughs> it's great. Please, just go finish already. In the blood of ice. <laughs> okay, I'll go. I'll go continue my shower. Are you sure you don't want to take another look whilst I'm uh, walking towards the stalls again? She takes a real deep inhale. <sighs> I'm okay. Mhm. Mm I'm okay. Okay, then. I walk towards the showers, smiling <laughs> at myself. She closes the door behind you, and she casts a spell to magically lock the door. <laughs> I look at the door in panic and say, fuck. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> She okay. permalocked me in there. Huh? She permalocked me in there. I can't escape anymore, Riku. <laughs> yeah, until you finish your damn shower. Uh. Alright, so. A few more minutes go by. And. You knock on the door. And you're like, alright, I'm done. Legitimately done. This time, I swear. And. She dispels the lock on the door. And you can exit the bathroom. I exit the bathroom with my hair in a towel, and I'm also in a towel. <laughs> and as you... You walk in front of her, and she walks with her back to turned towards you. So she she's walking backwards behind you. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I, saw, I stop on my place. Because like she's walking backwards, so she's gonna smack onto me, isn't she, Riku? <laughs> she sure shit does. <laughs> oh my god. And as she bumps into you, she immediately throws her arms and hands up into the air. As if she's like stretching or something. And she's like, why did you stop? <laughs> I look at her, I'm like, why are you walking backwards? You know damn well why I'm walking backwards. Why did you stop? I'm fully clothed. <laughs> fully clothed? You're in a towel. I don't know where you're... Okay, and you can't see anything. Okay, but those aren't clothes, and you... I'm a woman. I've worn a towel before. I know the kind of... Are you sexualizing me right now? I'm... A... A... No. Okay, then walk properly. Okay. She turns around and she says, walk. <laughs> Anything for you. <laughs> and I keep walking. <laughs> I look back and tell her to walk by me at least instead of behind me. Fine. Just don't... Just don't blame me if any of these weird leches around here decide they want to glue their eyes to something. Hmm. Have you not seen all the old guys around here? They, they stare. Shit. Oh, sorry, I was busy looking at you. I laugh at myself for that, that comment. Smooth as fuck. <laughs> oh, she's flustered as shit. Oh, shit. Damn, you are smoother than Jeff Peanut Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff 
peanut butter. I'm called. Alright, so now you two have made it back to your room and Drava stands by the window and gazes out of it while you get dressed, dressed. Is it dark outside? No, it's like afternoon. Oh, okay. Okay, I finished getting dressed and uh, call her name. Reva! <laughs> Are you... But as but as, she's, as she speaks, she turns around and she's like, never mind, you're dressed. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, what if I said no? You would have turned around and saw me naked. Why do you do Drava. this to me? Drava. <laughs> Stop, no, don't, don't Drava me. Drava. <laughs> Okay, what kind of food are you fancying right now? I haven't eaten in two days. Um. Well, Angela did say that when you all got back, there was a a large, hearty meal waiting for you. So. Uh, oh, thank God. You sh you should probably go to the uh, go to her tavern, I guess, or go to Barkeep's place. Okay, great. Let's go then. What do you, what do you mean let's? She said it was for you and yours. I wasn't included in that. Okay, but you were fighting with us, which means that you are also catered to the needs of food. But, I would at that point I'd just be inviting myself to something I wasn't uh, originally a part of. No, no, no. I'm inviting you. You're not inviting yourself. So technically, it's an offer. Would you like to join me and the rest of the gang for some food? <sighs> no matter how many times I was about to say I don't belong there, you're, you were just going to drag me along anyway. Fine. Yes, no. I'll go. Okay, lovely. I grab her arm and drag her towards the hole. Hey, wait, I didn't say you could do that as she, as you carry her away. <laughs> and, uh, now, we're going to go to, yeah, let's move over, over yonder. And change the music. And we'll play this. All right, so it's about it's about forty five minutes past noon. Uh, the tavern is completely closed off. The only people inside of it are the party, Mayor, Angela, Tearfine, Ifrit, the homie Adam, and uh. Y'all are chowing down. Or rather, everybody is watching you all chow down. Nom, 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 nom. I'm not making <laughs> that sound. <laughs> and if it is, uh, she's no longer in her, you know, I'm about to beat somebody ass uh, mode. Ah, oh. well, it's good to know that you all are pretty doggone hungry, huh? Starving. Ah, uh, famished, yes. And Angela looks over to Treva and she's like, why aren't you eating? Uh, uh, um... Well, I, uh, sweetheart, just eat. I'd be more insulted if you didn't. And I, 
apologize for how I treated you earlier in the week. And after Angela says that, uh, Dreva tears up just a little bit and she starts eating with like extreme intensity and speed. She's eating mm. like Goku. Oh. Yeah, she eating. Oh my eating. god. Oh, she eat. She eat good. Yeah, she eating, eating. <laughs> I can see the resemblance now. <laughs> God. Nom um, nom nom. So... I take a bite of the food. <laughs> and <I> cry. <laughs> oh sweet tears of glory. <laughs> I have a gif or a gif that's perfect for this moment. Okay. Hold on, I got this. Where is it? I'll find it eventually. We can move on. Okay. Uh, well, you all are eating and having a nice, hearty conversation and having a good time with each other. Y'all are, as people put it, hard vibing. No, and, the GIF isn't working. And after a while, you all, you all finish your food, and Angela, she speaks up, and she says, Well, that was a, quite an eventful time, yeah? One of y'all can respond to that. Sure was. I'm suffering. Suffering. <laughs> yeah, I, just I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten in years. Yeah. So long. Did it feel like that to you? Before battle, we had a meaty hurricane. Well, maybe that's why I was satisfied with today's. Uh, well, as typical adventure fashion goes, and don't take this the wrong way, as much as I would love to have you all stay here forever, you all know that you can't. And well, I caught wind through an associate of mine in a different, well, I'm sure to you all from where you come from, it would be a different city, but it would, I don't know the topography and the geography of y'all's world, but distance wise, I do believe you would probably be traveling to say another continent of sorts. Huh. Another mm -hmm. continent. And there was an associate of mine who relayed some disturbing information to me about, and just the thought of it alone disturbs me, but he caught wind that there, there may be a a supernatural <clears throat> slavery ring of sorts that he doesn't know how to deal with. And once I told him of Yoel's exploits and what Yoel had done, he he's pretty much asking you to come and help out with his problem that he's having. So, in other words, this would be one of those quests that you and yours, before your time, would go on and assist with. Ah. Uh, nice. A new operation. Uh. 
Adventure. Yashua, Yashua says that while stretching. Yeah, and well, I missed this new chapter for you all. Maybe you all will get a few steps closer to dealing with that damn devourer. And hopefully, whenever it decides to wake up again. As I've said before, it doesn't decide to set its sights on our, on our home, our dimension and whatnot. However, you don't have to leave immediately. You can leave whenever you want. Take your time. And if there's any... There's ever a point in time where you want to come back and well, spend some time with us? Feel free. We, we will always, always have an open seat, a warm bed, and a hot meal for you. And everyone present nods in agreement. I sniff. I sniffle. Yashua smiles and is very thankful. He kind of blushes a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, after after Angela's speech, uh, Tear springs to her feet and she requests and she says, "Um, before you all go, though, uh." I, um, I want to fight you guys. Huh? Yeah, I want to, I want to see what, what I've been hiding myself from for so long and what real adventurers are, well, capable of because I, I, I I am going to continue with doing music and go chase a dream that I haven't let go of yet. I was just too scared to do it. And, well, the only way I see fit by repaying the people who got me out of my slump was to, well, request to engage them in what they do best. If that's okay with you guys. And she starts like fiddling her thumbs as she finishes that sentence and you know fades off a bit. Now I'm kinda of don't want her here. I don't I don't say that. I don't say that I'm carrying to I'm joking. Uh Yashua yeah, sure speaks up. Sure, I see why not. It would be nice to have you around. Plus, who am I gonna know if you're not here? Well, uh, uh, here, here. She, she puts her, her tombstone on the table. Tombstone. And, uh, tombstone. Just, not, not like a grave tombstone. No, like a slab of stone. I get it. No, it's oh, a. That's what they call a phone. Yeah. Oh. It's a Final oh. Fantasy XIV joke. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm talking about, right, Pogger? Yeah. Yeah. And she says, uh, "Here, uh, take my number, so that way, well, whenever you want to talk, just uh, send me some mail or call me or something, and if I happen to be in the city." Uh, performing, I'll let you guys know. Wait, hold on, Riku, is uh, Reva not joining uh, us on our next adventure? Yashua is, is like puzzled, I'm like, what? That's... May I see that? Uh, yeah, uh, sure, take it. Wait, Riku? You will find Riku. out. Oh, okay. I just think you know, and then, Ice and then... has one too, huh? Nah, but it's 
it's not the same cellular device as we use at home. Oh, that's why I, I bought a tombstone. Ice, that's why I said Ice has one. Well, Yashua hasn't, like, Yashua saw it, but, like, he never actually took a closer look at it. Y'all have tombstones? Nah, Yashua has a hollow phone. It's just, a, think of it as a smart, a smartphone that's holographic. Oh. And it just compares the two. Fascinating. I look, I look towards Dreva. Dreva, I'll take this as an opportunity to take your number and ask you if you want to join us. Uh, um, I don't... I don't have one of those things. I need to get one myself and, uh... Let me... Let me think on that. I Yashua is like I don't really know if I wanna go back to that just yet, if ever. I kinda got really comfortable doing my own music thing. Well the offer still stands whenever you wanna change your mind. Dreva doesn't respond. But she, she acknowledged what you said. So I'm assuming all of you are taking Tyr and Fiend up on their battle proposition. We're gonna fucking fight them. She she I just guess. asked you if you if she could fight you guys. I mean, like now. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Okay. And Angela speaks up. Are you... Too. Girls, are you sure about this? And both Tyr and Fiend look at her and they give a incredibly determined yes. Yes, we are. And he says... Oh. Okay. You all are. You all are grown. If things get to be a bit too much, I will intervene and stop the fight. Understand? And she's, she's saying that to all of you. Yes. And uh, if Rita. She pipes up and she says, Ooh, this looks interesting. I want to see this. And Mayor, he says something along the lines of, Oh dear. I, well, I'm not even going to try to do anything about this. I'm just going to... Let the youngins do what young people do, I suppose. And Angela looks at Adam and she says, You, you coming along for this? This looks... The more we talk about it, the more I actually want to see it my damn self. Yeah, well... Seems pretty alright. I'll come watch. Besides, I've I've yet to see these these guys in action myself and uh <laughs> for people who have well gone out of their way so much to give me my damn body back. Yeah, I wanna see what they're really capable of. Granted, you know, um I hope they wouldn't try to kill each other but uh yeah I'll never never turn down a chance to watch a good looking fight and with that being said uh, if all y'all are good I will proceed to uh get to move and shit.
All right. Let's just give go. This, let me just give this phone back to whoever it was. Tear. Here's your phone. My number's on there too. No, just just add the, your number to it. <laughs> All right. And I take one good look at those. Like, do you want me to go serious or easy on you guys? <laughs> um. Uh, and of course, no weapons. <laughs> on my part. What well, determines how much power I use in return? Whatever you think is necessary, use it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I will stop the music. As I slowly eyeball the mother to get the approval of <laughs> using full force. Angela nods. Okay. But yeah, she she nods and she says Try to hold back just a little bit, you guys. She's saying that to the party. And after hearing that tear makes a it makes a pouty face, but Fiend tells her to knock it off. <laughs> And Angela snaps her fingers, and a be before you can even have a say in what is happening, uh, a very, very large portal appears from where, from like right behind her. And it encompasses all of you as you all are transported to where this fight will take place. Ooh. I'm just running it for a bit to be a Coliseum. I can eat a person off this island. Anyway. I won't though. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this place. Alright, you all are... Wait, you guys... You, you all pick a side of the arena to stand on. It doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna stand up here. Tall one. Well, no, well not... Somewhere in the center, I should clarify. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What is this? Did I not? Uh-oh. I have made a mistake. I need to fix this map. So I will move y'all back for a second. Uno momentio. Let me just do this. How to remove token. And then ah. Do this. This and then I do this, and then I go here. Wait, I need to map background. An island, an island. There we go. Now I have done the thing and done it properly. I do this and okay, now we're good. Uh, what? That was an accident. No, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the dimension was collapsing again. <laughs> nah. I have the high ground now. <laughs> when you have a gun, you always have the high ground. Okay. So, let me just put the ladies on their side of the 
Mm, arena. Uh-oh. Move her down here. Take him here, put him over there. And then I need this one over here. All right. Uh, Mel, where's your token? Oh dear. Uh. I'm floating in the sky. All right. So, if y'all are ready to go, Angela is going to do a countdown. I'm going to go from on, on, when I get to one, you all can get to it. Journal this ahead of time. Three, two. I got the high ground. You're not supposed to be up there. I don't got the high ground. And once I get the two, Tyr and Fiend summon their weapons, and they are very different from the last time you saw them with uh, weapons in their hands. Oh, probably now it's and, perfect time to buff. <laughs> and Fear Fiend is carrying several of them. One. Uh, Angela snaps up. her fingers. And fighting will begin. And first up will be Fiend. Are we back to full health and everything mm -hmm. after all that? All right. She is she is activating a spell that causes her to go first, and she is going to take aim at Ice. I feel hate. <laughs> Do trust the old revenge. All right, I get reflected back at her. She takes. Oh my god, my calculator. I didn't do. I didn't even bring out mine too. Because I'm assuming that's before. Watch them call it defense. Yeah. Where is my spray calculator? No. Oh, right, what's the last one? Here? All right, and then she is going to take aim. Now she's gonna switch weapons, and she's gonna take aim at Mel. Ha! Oh, excuse me, princess. <laughs> and she is going to let loose a beam of ice from her weapon. Set beam. Bye. Is the equivalent of Blizzard 3. Hold on, can I use my sword to block it since my sword already has Blizzard on it just to enchant the living shit out of it? This is a new fight, so your blade doesn't have an element on it. Can oh. I use. <laughs> can I try to like encompass the spell onto my sword instead? Is that possible? Roll intelligence. Um. Hold on. I'm gonna kill myself. The music died down at the first. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I got a critical. No. <laughs> Damn. Ah. Oh, smart, that's smart. That's so sad. That is okay. so smart. That is so sad. You are lucky that I was going to tell you to re-roll that anyway, but from now on, oh, baby. do not re-roll shit unless I say re-roll. The thing is, I rerolled over there just because I wanted to see what I could have gotten in a different lifetime. Mm -hmm. That does not work like that. Yeah, it don't work like that. Damn it, okay. You only reroll when I say reroll. 
That's, oh, the, okay, okay, okay. that's the last time I'm gonna let you get away with that. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Oh, wait, wrong thing. She fires her ice beam at you. And you have the bright idea to block it with your sword and through sheer innovation you absorb her blizzard beam into your weapon and now your weapon has a uh, blizzaga attached to it that is so hot all right and then uh she is <clears throat> oh shit she is going to cast Bubble on herself and on Tear. And that is her turn. Huh. So it turns to end here. Alright, give me a second. Whose turn is it? Uh, it is Tears' turn. I'm just doing a quick thing, real fast. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go get a drink quickly. Be right back. All right. That's right. I don't fit my speed. Look at that it's speed. Please slide it. Okay, so Tear is going to target. She's gonna target the area beneath your feet, Ice. Rather familiar, really. <laughs> <laughs> and she is going to. Stab the bottom of her staff into the ground. And she is going to cast uh, Deep Protect on you. Hmm. You need to tell me what that does. <laughs> Minus 20% defense. Noted. Uh, I'm going to calculate it now. She is also going to conjure a bubble of water above you, and then she's going to make a small dart of magic, pop it, and she's going to cast a cold on you. And cold is minus 50 speed for the. Uh, 3d4 turn, so let me roll that. Let's see, I need to put this somewhere. Put this in person. How many speed did I lose by? 50. Doing that right now. Alright, that was. reactions from her and then for her last two actions she is going to she's going to cast 
she's going to cast D Shell on both you and. Oh, I was going to question the question that. I know there's two different defense. Are we supposed to keep a dragon two different separate defense? <laughs> no. Okay. As long as I'm out there. Okay, so she cast D shell on you. And. She's going to cast D shell on. She's going to cast it on Yashua. So, what does D shell do? You take 20% more magic damage. Ah. That two is for 3d4 turns. What do you mean? Ooh, sheesh. SOL? Uh, you got a D shell casted on you. So for. Nine turns, you're gonna take 20% more magic damage. Ah, uh. and uh, you can what's your current speed? Uh, 165. Jesus Christ, you're still faster than everyone. Okay, well, your turn. <laughs> oh, uh, good old muscle flex, which is why it's to 225. I do need to alter this. I mean, this is relevant for my case. But I keep forgetting. Oh, and I'm losing my way on over here. That's two turns. I'm gonna grapple him. I'm gonna grapple her. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, shall I roll athletics? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you are now hand in hand locked with her, and no. she is she is surprisingly uh, showing equal, if not slightly more, amounts of strength. Now, I trigger my spark strike because <laughs> you can't evade something you're in contact with. True, but I need to alter spark check right quick because speed alteration. Actually, no, it doesn't. Actually, that would be like that for two to four times. I need to roll that for five whole turns. So, right quick, Riku, since I'm in contact, one of my hands is in spark strike. Does that mean each round I'm in contact with her? Can I trigger it? Oh, emphasis on trigger. Can I, like, I guess shock her for per turn I have left? Uh, yeah. As long as you aren't in a situation where you have to let go of her. I'm quick with cannon right now. So it's the first oh, move, grapple. I can shock her one more time. Okay. I can't exactly defend. So, that'll be it. <laughs> Alright, Yashua, your turn. Hmm. Yashua wants to test out a new ability. Okay. So he just snaps his fingers and casts Shadow Ward on himself. Shining Ward? Or Shining Ward. <laughs> okay. So now I have energy shields, baby. As a visual representation of that. 
I believe you might have also tried poker inside the barrier. <laughs> well, I'm naturally a sniper, so I gotta have some defense. Oh, Riku. Huh? So, let me. It will be up to uh, Rick to do this. That's an option. If you press on your character, there's a gear wheel, and it will say token aura. You can change it into a square and radiate an aura. <laughs> Oh, oh really? You. Yeah, I forgot about okay. that part. Yeah. Token aura. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so how do I do it? I, so, I see token. You're gonna put just be five. That'd be like a five radius. So you're gonna put an aura one, put five in there because that's the closest thing. And then on the circle or on shape, you're gonna click the circle and put it to square. And then click save settings. Uh, all I see is bar. Bar you, value max, you gotta blue scroll max, down. green. Alright, yeah, you gotta scroll down. Oh, okay. Uh, radius. Square. Uh, how, how long do I make this? 15? Yeah. Five. Oh, five. Is that really a 15 radius? Yeah. Oh, 15 it'll be feet, a, yeah. Just so you know, it'll be a turn of 30. That's a 30 feet, 30 wide, uh, shining more. <laughs> Uh, the barrier HP equal to the selector on the down to 15 feet high and 15 feet wide. Do you well, guys see an aura? Well, I no, see it. I have, I have to edit it so that everybody can see it. Ah, that's why. There are also the radius. I don't know, just whatchamacallit, because it just said 15 feet wide. <laughs> Token bars. That's my health bar, right? What? Yeah. What are you, what are you trying to, to do? Oh, oh, no, because since I have a, an aura, I need to put like a, a health bar on it. Oh, I got you. Hold on. So like anyone that's near me is protected by the barrier. Or at least that's what I... Think how it works, does it? Each year, erect a barrier image in front of you or an ally within the barrier. Uh, you or an ally within the range. Oh, okay, so it's an AoE. The blue bar is the barrier's uh, HP. Blue bar is barrier HP? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Now get in there and smack him. <laughs> okay, so that's my first action. Uh, poker had to go uh, okay. run to the. Wouldn't do laundry, so I'll take control of her character till she gets back. Okay. Ruler. Free movement. 40, 30. I'm going to target Well, I'm not going to target you cuz you were you got your hands full, so you don't. So This one here is going to get shot at. I'm not good at remembering names. Fiend. Thank you.
Okay, you did. What's up? Mel's turn, I will be acting for her. So I am going to I'm gonna have her How far is this? Okay. I'm gonna have her move over here, and then I'm going to have her rapid slash to fiend. First. That. I'm going to have her dragon slice twice. Not gonna add all that up. Alright, that is 760. Okay, so now the regular turn order, after Sheen used whatever ability she did to go first, the regular turn order will be Tear, Ice, Fiend, and then Yashua and Mel. Magic. <laughs> that would mean something. Okay, so Tear is she is not trying to escape your grasp, and she is going to. She is going to cast. Uh, fire four in her hands. I accept this challenge. <laughs> As I am going to reflect it right in her palm. <laughs> Shut 
damn it's halved. Not to pull up, I'll trust the old calculator. As long as you're just doing damage. on herself and increase her own magic attack by 30%. Huh. And then she's going to cast phase two phase two which is another 70 points. Action. Uh, she is going to attempt to push you backwards while not letting go. So just to make this real simple. Alright, neither of you move. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. We bye. Thank you, thank you. Your turn, Ice. Oh, well. As I'm up with that skirt now. Same as before. It's all five turns. That, that, that 20. Hey. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna do HP recovery calculations now. It is now Fiend's turn. Give me just a second. All right. So Fiend is going to again uh, switch weapons, and she is quite literally. Pulling out a shotgun. But instead of shooting it, the shotgun has a blade attached to the bottom of it, and she is going to swing it at Mel. Bitches! <laughs> you do have a counterattack you can use. What is she casting on me? It's a melee attack. Hmm. I don't know if I can use third eye. It's third eye is a counter. Oh! You didn't even put on your sheet. My sheet is open in front of me. Your counter attack <laughs> is not on your sheet. Oh! It should have been there weeks ago. Really? Yes. 
I'm pretty sure. Okay, my bad. Maybe I didn't include it in there because I'm. Uh, uh, you special. don't listen. I do. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm putting that one there. That has to go counter. Fuck, I have that? That's crazy. <laughs> Gave that to you. We <laughs> <laughs> Gave it to you weeks ago. Anyway, I use <laughs> slap shot. Roll a 1d3. Okay. Okay, so you're taking... Uh... Let me show I'm doing this right. You're taking uh, 32 points of damage, and so is her bubble. Oh uh, yeah, she has a bubble. Both, <laughs> the, both of them have a bubble on them. I completely forgot. <laughs> nice. Good old bubble. She's gonna swing her weapon again, but this time she's going to swing it at the ground and pull the trigger. And as she does that, the ground beneath your feet now uh, violently tremors for a second, and I need you to roll a athletics. Alright, you do not stumble backwards or fall over. <clears throat> Pause. She then... She swaps weapons again. And... She has a... A small cannon... In her hand. I approve. <laughs> and... She's gonna... Pull the trigger and blast Mel point blank. Damn. How much damage do I take? Uh, let me look at your defense. Do I roll defense, or she roll defense? No, I'm... I'm doing the math. You take 91 points of damage. Roger. And... For her last action... She is going to cast a spell called Disable. And she is going to target Ice with it. I feel like I'm targeted. It does feel some, like some hate. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> because hate is because I'm more powerful physically. <laughs> your moves gets rolled against and whatever the number is you can't use that move for three turns 
I have my move to the point. That's six, so four. For three turns, you cannot use your poison greatsword as the tag. Thank God I wasn't planning to use my weapon. <laughs> Now, Yashua's turn. Oh, my turn? Yep. Alright. Okay. Unfortunately for her, she's in within range. So she's gonna start burning. What do you mean? She's within the range of the barrier. Oh, actually, no, hold on. Does it work that way? Let me double check. It only affects allies. And because, no. she, was, because she was no, currently like, seeing enemies as well. I'll have to double check on that. Barrier is HP. Enemies cannot touch the barrier, otherwise, they will take 100 damage. Yeah, she is currently an enemy. Yes. Yeah, so she's not getting the protective effects of the barrier, of your barrier, plus she already has a bubble on her. That's not what I was referring to, Riku. What are you talking about? I'm talking about, do enemies take tick damage when they are within the barrier's range, since... Yes. She, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay. Okay. I don't have any special bullets on me to go talk to Greg. So... Since you two are having your WWE Smackdown, I'm not gonna interrupt you two. Tier. And my turn defends. Let's see. I should keep track of my bullets. Last time I used those attacks, I burned 16 bullets in total. There we go. All right. Alright, Mel, it is now your turn. Moshi Mosh. Let's see here. Okay. I will use. Hmm. Prism Katano. Yes. <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'll also use a flash freeze slash. Okay. And Blizzard three. I mean Blizzaria is on my sword right now, right? You have Blizzaga on your sword, which is Blizzard three. Yes. Blizzaga. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use double slash to go between Tyr and Fiend. 
and use Prism Katana on both. So basically, what I want to do is slash towards tier, use Prism B, not Prism, fuck, wrong one, Prism Katana, then slash back and use Prism Katana. So that counts for all my moves and I don't need to do anything anymore. Okay. Ignore the Prism B and I didn't mean to click that one. Okay. Okay, so to Fiend, let me do that damage. And then to Tear. Also hit uh, Tia with uh, Prism Katana Strike, yes? Yes. All of you have pretty much dealt enough damage to have your limit breaks by now. turn again and she is going to she is going to cast uh, faith 2 on herself again a lot of faith going on here <laughs> <laughs> and she is going to cast She's going to cast Poison Poisonga, so Poison 3 on you, Ice, since you are grappled with her. Yes. So I tried to, try to reflect this. You can't. That's a status ailment. Not a regular attack. And that doesn't try. I wasn't sure because, like, I know it's poison and that's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, for. Oh. I have four turns using five percent HP. No, oh, no. <laughs> and then oh, that's five percent for me. Yeah. And then Pop set. Oh no, max. Huh? Pop set. Current or max? Max. And then she is going to cast. She's gonna cast one, two, three, fire five on you. That damn it! Wrong button. I'm about to say that seems a lot lower than usual. <laughs> yeah.
Ooh. There it is. Yeah, you know, you got the you got a crit, so Oh! Oh, okay. Uh this is the damage of Fire Five. Depending how much it is, it depends whether or not I try to deflect. Oh, I have to deflect this. Oh, I have to deflect half of it then. <laughs> Let's see. I was hoping to deflect all of it, but you know how it goes. Action, she will. She is going to cast Arrow Barrage. my maximum on my page that's not accurate <laughs> I just don't change it on there it may look like I'm full but I'm not <laughs> no, the question is on who uh, uh on... I would assume me but I'm not sure <laughs> it's a single target tag Because of that one, uh, that's the actual damage for that. So, I'm sitting on me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, these ones. <laughs> okay. And as a reaction to your reaction, she's gonna cast Mana Shell. So that damage is even further reduced. So she's taking... Okay, it is now your turn. Give me two seconds as I figure out the damage calculation. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. What? Well, as I look at Dan the eye, he's like, are you ready to dance? I'm gonna fly and lift her up with me. <laughs> oh god, here we go with this again. And that's right. <laughs> this is exactly what's gonna go out. <laughs> So it flies how it's possible in one action. You know how it goes, Riku. There is no ceiling here. How high can I fly in one action? I, this has never been confirmed. Uh, well, normally you're in places with ceilings, but I will let you fly a total of... Uh, 100 feet. As I look at it, it's like, I might kill myself from this. <laughs> and remember what I did to Garland? Oh god. This is exactly what's gonna happen for her spinning as my weapon straight into a fiend. <laughs> Damn. Terminal velocity again. <laughs> oh, I had a feeling this was gonna happen eventually. Um, you already know the deal. Let's for the last. Riku, Actually, I feel like Riku prepared for this already. <laughs> well, see, well, I did. I did, truly. And, uh. <laughs> Well, 
<laughs> Y'all didn't use Libra, so you, 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 I mean, you don't never, know how how yeah. intensely I, I prepared for this. That's been a trait for me never to use Libra because if I could just beat them down, what's the point? <laughs> Fair. Well, yeah, last spark strike in the last second as I just jetted jet myself into being with a tear as a weapon. <laughs> Depending how much damage I take will determine my next course of action. <laughs> okay, so run that on me one more time just to make sure I'm following along properly. Flying up, spinning. So basically, I'm gonna have to like have to start spinning and tear you behind me essentially, because joint wise, unless I somehow dislocate both of our arms doing this. In which case, it's gonna be painful. But as I shoot down, spinning, it's like uh, it's like people who slam down people. You know those uh, scenes? Grab them my head, but they turn suddenly and they slam them straight into the ground. Yeah. Yeah, this actually doing that from 100 feet, spinning into Fina. But I was using two as a weapon as I activate Spark Strike. Ready to spark strike both her and Fiend. Oh, Ari spark striking her. And then Fiend, the moment I make contact. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh. So, because you're doing this wacky shit again. I, I, will, I will say. I say he might go down the ground. What's the actual thing he said? Looking in the tear's eye. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to take I'm gonna take half your MP for this again because of you're course. flying up and flying back down incredibly fucking fast I accept losing let me tell you how much I just lost at this I accept losing 917 MP for this Nine, is, my MP is that high no where is your MP I don't see it on your sheet oh it's down below that's under my critical stat. I just don't fill it in. It's a total is above it, the turtle match. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the little numbers is what the original numbers are. That's okay. how I keep track of the original stats so I know what to go off of. That's how you look at defense. There's a 209 above it, even though it's 78. <laughs> okay. Um... I need... Athletics wouldn't really count for this, but roll it anyway. Jeez, okay. I just look at the ad. I got a two on that roll. <laughs> now, lucky shield is not with me today. <laughs> I need a. I need a one d three hundred. I made really about to eat team ac accidentally off the map <laughs> or something. How do you get eight over? Okay. I didn't eat her off the map, thank god. <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> but the mother. <laughs> Angela is looking up at, at you in shock and surprise. What shock and surprise? She saw it in my head. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> Shock and surprise at how high up you are. Oh, okay. And Miss. now I need, I need two one d twos. God damn it! You got a two and a one. <laughs> it took me a second to process what you said because you said two one d twos, and my brain like shorted it. For a split second, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> okay. So with that crazy-ass display of a plan, uh, you, you, you succeed at what you're trying to do, and 
you crashed into tears so damn hard and fiend that their uh their bubbles have very obvious cracks in them now like they are borderline broken That's a lot of hp to have unless bubble just got to something else Bubble is the total amount of the target's current HP times two. Ah, uh, that is why. That's as far as you get to skip Bubble. Oh, now the question is, do I live to tell the tale from this time? <laughs> uh, give me a D100. And a survival check. Huh. Uh, you lose 87% of your HP. Even better. So. Ah, uh, wait, wait. You lose. Uh. 62%. Even better. So. I'm assuming. Everybody's on the ground, and I was I still somehow still holding Fiend, and that being tear as I struggle mentally right now. Uh, no, that that one that you rolled, you that caused you to let go of her. Ah, uh, how close are they together? Uh, they're <laughs> pretty much on on top of one another. Let's see, depending how much action, let's see, flying, flying down, spinning, activating, I have one more action still. <laughs> I'm gonna grapple both of them. What the fuck? <laughs> Your reaction is perfect. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? Bro, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna grapple both of them. So should I? What double check am I doing for this? Um. Uh. Strength. No. No. Dex. What comes the worst? I just like lightly grip one of their arms as I lay on top of them. <laughs> Have the weakest of grips on them. Even better. Like they could, they could snatch their arm and be free from you. And so now, now it comes down is how much MP did I, I mean HP did I just vent from this whole scenario? How much did they lose? Yeah, because they HP didn't lose any. Life. Never did. All right, because barrier. Yep. Okay. Uh, but as poison kicks in, as my battle moment, I'm gonna crystallize them in place as I flop on the ground next. To them. <laughs> okay. <gasps> well, it's Fiend's turn, and she's gonna spend one of her actions and. She's gonna grab that good old shotgun of hers, and she's gonna blast that uh, crystal clone you just left and shatter it. Now to do HP calculations. Uh, da, 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 da. And then she is going to spend an action pulling both herself and Fiend, I mean, and Tear, up to their feet. Did you say 67? Yeah. Noted. it. I'm like doing math right now, don't mind me. Uh huh. So and then. Okay. The ladies are. They're gonna look at each other and at you in like. Complete and utter bewilderment. Oh yeah, it did go down. Yeah, that poison. That, that level 3 poison really did take me. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, 
they, they, they are too confused and surprised at what you just did to form a coherent sentence. I get to finally sleep. I rest in peace. <laughs> but, uh, Fina's going to swap a shotgun for an assault rifle. And she isn't going to take aim at both Mel and Yashua. And she is going to fire the equivalent of a of a thunder of a thunder five at the two. Retaliation, may I? Yes, this is a ranged attack. Oh, wrong number. Okay. All right, so that's. There's a big X that I KO'd? No. So what's the X for? I don't know, he did that. Oh, I'm KO'd. <laughs> I lost all my HP from the poison. Oh, you're down down? Yes, <laughs> that's what I said. I, I flopped over next to them because I knew that poison was going to take me. Oh, I wasn't paying. I did not hear that part. Wait. You have a phoenix down. Yes. So you're not KO'd. Oh. I, I completely forgot. <laughs> that, and I don't, I'm not used to phoenix down, so that's why. Uh, that makes sense. I have no idea what phoenix down I mean, does, besides so bringing me back up. Uh, you can't, it just prevents you from being KO'd. So you're back on your feet, but you have like 100 HP. Thank God, because I already erased my HP pull. <laughs> Good times. How's that problem gonna go dagger in the next round by poison? <laughs> Maybe. Well. I know whether or not down, get rid of negative effects, that's why. So she shot something at me, I retaliated. How much damage am I taking? Uh, you are taking... Oh wait, I have a barrier up. Huh. Yeah, the barrier is taking 337 points. How do I edit this barrier? Let me see. Oh, okay, there we go. Phone. Stupid phone, stop it. So, 300 and what? 37. going to adopt a counter-attack looking position 
and she is going to end her turn. Alright, uh, okay, the Tokyo Beat again, so let's draw a character again. Hmm. I'm going to have her use a blinking cut on both of the girls. Wow, two twos in a row, nice. Okay, so when they attack, no, we're gonna, we're gonna have to roll to hit her. Freeze on, on tier single target double slash and another single target double slash. Okay, Pull this up. Too fast. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Alright. And after that. <sighs> Tear and Fiend are. They're gonna have a little moment of eye contact with each other and they're gonna look up at Angela and Angela is going to hesitantly nod to them you don't know what the hell is about to happen but the two of them they speak up and they say they speak in, in complete unison Wow, they're you, gonna fuse. you guys really are uh, powerful and whatnot, and yeah, you guys are way better at this fighting stuff than we are. But I think it's time for the both of us to stop playing so defensively. And once they say that, the island that you all are standing on begins to shake a little bit. And after they they make that declaration, Tyr tosses her staff into the air as it adopts a an almost blinding white light to it and then Fiend does the same except she throws all of her weapons into the air are they about to fuse? I approve of this <laughs> and then they once, are. once the light dissipates Tyr and Fiend have completely different weapons uh, their stats that you don't know of have completely changed and the both of them are glowing, and they say it is time for round two. Oh, bro. And with that, things will continue next session. Oh. Why do you do this? Because it's fun. <laughs>